air that connects us in the breathing together of all things, fire that feeds the sun that feeds everything else, water that runs as river, stills as lake, waves as ocean, earth that shapes as landscape, greens, feels, knows, loves. For as long as we've been expressions of earth reflecting back on the ways of nature, our thinking has constellated itself into a sacred conversation about the four elements, air, fire, water, earth. Will you meditate with me now on the earth element? Earth, it's the word we evoke to name our planet, our home base. Planet Earth, curiously named, I think. For for every other planet, we assign the name of a god or goddess from Greco-Roman mythology. But Earth, Earth is from a Proto-Indo-European word group Erda, meaning ground, soil, dirt, land. So rather than evoking the abstractness of a mythological figure, Earth is named for what it most immediately, most materially, most humbly is. The stuff that we stand on, the stuff that is us. In the Genesis creation story, God forms Adam from the Adama, the earthling from the earth. Jesus, who's given the title Eskatos Adam, second or ultimate earthling by the Apostle Paul, had a powerful affinity with all the elements, calming wind, walking on water, baptizing with fire, but it is the earth element that features most prominently in his teachings and parables. The earth produces of itself, Jesus said, marveling at a seed sprouting, first the stalk, then the head, then the grain. The kingdom of God, he said, is like this. It's like the happenings of the earth and that it just pops up, a glorious disruptive event of newness and beauty like a sudden field of wildflowers, like a fruit tree going from bud burst to blossom. Today, as we face new challenges of ecological and climate peril, may we take this chance to praise the earth element, humble and glorious, origin and destiny, this clay-sculpted kingdom of God, where incarnation and resurrection energy runs wild and free. This planet A, named after nothing other than the very essence of itself. This place where all matter is holy matter. Where matter matters. This place, this earth, which is the right place for love. <laughs>